<laughs> okay, we're here in Jinjuku. Um, we're going to try Sega's VR experience, Star VR. Um, and we're going to play John Wick, which you can't see because it's really bright, but we'll do something with that. And um, hopefully I'll do okay, but I'll probably get shot a lot. So yes, John Wick is basically a room scale wave based shooter, so you know what to expect there. The real pill for me here was not the game, but the Star VR headset that it uses. That, unlike the PSVR, Rift, Vive or Windows MR headsets that are available for home purchase, Star VR is aimed at business to business and location based experiences. As a headset, it has one very big thing going for it and that is its field of view that comes in at a whopping 210 degrees wide by 130 degrees tall that's enough to typically cover 90 percent of the entire human vision and right from the go i understand the appeal of that as it offers a vastly better visual immersion into a game now there is a big but here and that is unfortunately for me, I could not find the sweet spot for focusing with this headset. So everything I saw was a bit on the blurred side. Now this could be due to my glasses, I don't know. I'll have to try it out with some contact lenses when I'm next in Tokyo. And yes, I am going back to Tokyo in the next couple of months, so expect an update. Back to the headset itself. It's not exactly small with this big wedge-shaped housing, but for the short time I was wearing it, it felt quite comfy and was surprisingly light on my head. The tracking is optical based and is capable of having 960 frames of motion tracking at sub millimeter distances. And while it's capable of this, in my experience, the tracking was not quite as sharp as what I've found with Vive based experiences. Overall, trying the Star VR headset gives me a lot of hope for what is to come from other headsets in the future, like the Pimax 8K that has a very similar field of view and look to its housing, but uses the same lighthouse tracking system that you get with the Vive and will be available for home purchase. So, although I think Star VR starts out from a solid idea for immersion, the benefits of that huge FOV are undeniable, but if I could get the image into focus, then I would be right behind it. So for me, it's a case of try it out again and see, and it does give me some other really good hopes for what's to come from, especially headsets like the Pimax 8K. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button. And there's a couple of videos to watch as well, so you may as well press one of those and like and comment and blah 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 and stuff. And we'll come back to this subject again.